Welcome to Violin Adventures number 55. We had a most enjoyable week last week. We had a shop tour here at the shop and a group of the nicest people you'll ever meet came to the shop and they made our week. And I wish I could have got video, but I didn't. I didn't get any video, but at the very end, I did get a short little video of a little boy that was in the crowd and he took to carving a violin here he is. My car? A budding violin maker. Well, we got back to work on the violin. Okay, it's time to remove the clamps and shape the bass bar. Okay, we've got the bass bar in and it's all shaped, it has a good tone, I always check for tone, it's nice and even all the way. So the bass bar is in and I've just been cleaning these pieces up just a little bit more. They're still a bit, a bit rough. Usually I wait until I get the purfling in before I make it completely a finished look. Now I'm going to round the edges on the top. We need to put a sealer coat on the inside of the violin and also put in a label. Okay, it's time for the sealer coat on the inside of the violin. Once this is sealed, then we will put a label in. The labels in. The instrument is signed and it says Azeret Hashem, that means with God's help. And here is where I put the verse. So it's now time to close up the violin and put the top on. So we're going to drill the placement dowels and then we'll be ready to glue it shut. And we did more work on the harp. There's just a lot of little details that have to be done before it can be set up. So here it goes. Okay, this is the tricky part, is trying to get all these angles to come out just right. So I've got an angle cut on the bottom of this. And I want that to hit this part just right.
Okay, just recap the angle on this pillar and it came out perfectly. So now I'm attaching the transition piece. Or I'm making the transition piece. And this will get it just Okay, the string heights are right on. So I'm going to work on the transition piece and then I'll need to drill the hole that this will be going in. The harp is sitting here without anything really holding it yet. But we got the angles correct. So I've got this pillar at the right angle with this here on the neck and this this way. We've got our support for the soundboard. So now. Satisfaction when it all comes together. It's in the morning here. The birds are singing. The sky is blue. Now let's go inside and see what we'll do. Okay, here's our harp. The plan today is to get the soundboard attached and also the pillar attached, and I believe it will be ready to string up. So here we go. And back to the violin. Okay, it's time to close the violin up. We've got the wooden pins in to hold it in place. And we've got the hole drilled for the end pin. The label is in, it's been signed, so we're ready to close it up. Well, you know how it is. I had to go upstairs and make something delicious. So, see if you can guess what it is.
Time to take off the clamps. Still has good tone. While I was busy carving, my dad was upstairs practicing and I didn't want to disturb him, but let's take a peek. on. So it's time for the end of the week review. Let's step outside and see the weather. Here it is. We're having a nice rain. We haven't had rain all week. So it was almost like a little drought. Oh, you can see the, the humidity getting the lens there. Anyway, the sky is very beautiful and blue and we're getting just enough rain to keep it green. Now we'll go back inside. Here we are again. So here's the violin. The top is now on and we're ready to start the purfling. So that might take all week next week just to get the purfling in. The scroll, I've cleaned it up a bit. The neck is, I've taken that down so it's down to size. And there's just a little bit more work on the scroll. Here is our harp. It is all together. All the angles are fitting nicely now. And I just need to add the strings. So next week we'll get to hear this harp, Lord willing. Over here is the Michael Newman violin and the plans are to set it up next week and put on a new bridge, new strings and adjust the sound post to get the best sound we can on this beautiful violin. Well, next is the Hebrew Minute. We might combine our quiz of the week with our regular weekly video. We're going to try this out. So, if you can guess which verse this is that we're going to go over in Hebrew, put it in the comments below. Also, if you want to guess what was I making up in the kitchen, I'm sure you guys know. 
you can put that in the comments below too, as well as anything else you'd like to say. Kol imrat Eloah, Zarofa magin hu lachosim bo. All the word of God is pure. This is like refined in a fire. He is a shield to those who find refuge or those who trust in him. Thank you all so much for watching. Oh, and a big thank you to all the new subscribers. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for subscribing. And thank you to you who were sharing the video with your friends. Thank you very much. That was a great boost to our channel. And thank you all for your comments and your thumbs up. And until next time, God bless you. Bye. Just a big thank you to all of you who have commented, participated, shared the video. Thank you very, very much.